this video we are going to discuss about the immune disorder first of all as you guys all know that we were at the immunity chapter disorder yeah right so if we talk about immune as you guys all know immune which means the immune uh, system and disorder which means the anything which is not working properly and it is very you can say that harmful for the immune system we are calling that as an immune disorder first immune disorder we are having that is the allergy first of all allergy what is allergy allergy is basically you can say that a uh, immune system immune system generated a uh, exaggerated response what exaggerated response like what which means without any reason the immune system generate a response okay so if you talk about the allergy allergy is basically the hyper sensitivity hyper sensitivity response which is hypersensitive response it is very uh, sensitive for our body okay <clears throat> it's not as much harmful but if you talk about the causes of this that what are the cause that is that's why the allergy is like uh, caused so the reason is allergens what are allergens allergens are basically the agent which is causing the allergy that can be anything like pollens can be there uh, bird fins many people are having the allergy with the bird fins cat or pet pet danders okay chemicals dust particles the main okay so if you talk about the allergy when the allergy is basically caused okay so our body start producing a large quantity of the antibody which is ige it is what it is it basically fight for the allergy this is the antibody immunoglobulin e this is the antibody which is basically um, made by the plasma cells as you guys all know the antibody that made by the plasma cells of uh, b cells okay that will kill the parasites or plenty helminths like worms like things okay so here the macrophages dendritic cell will not be alert because they are having the smaller size they will not work against the allergens okay so the uh, a ige which is the antibody that would attach with the parasite or the eosinophils which are the type of the you can say that the lymphocytes so i for example this is a, is in a fill cell okay and with that the antibody is attached with is ige okay when the with the eosinophils the ige will attach so what will happen the eosinophil will get active the eosinophil cell will get what active okay and with that uh, ige the parasite will be got attached which is causing the allergy okay so after it will attach with the antibody so this antibody will kill that uh, parasite okay or it is it is attached with the basophil cell antibody okay when they are <clears throat> when the ige is basically attached with the mast cells for example with the mast cell mast cell is what this is cells used to kill the parasite but the you can say that uh, the particles are not harmful it's a exaggerated reaction okay the particle are not harmful it's like um, without any reason our body is making the uh, antibodies okay so the mast cell will active it, active when the uh, ige will be you can say that um, the ige will attach with the mast cell so it will use to kill use to kill parasites but the particle is not harmful it's just a exaggerated reaction okay so mast cell will do what mast cell will be getting activate and it will release a histamine 
histamine is what histamine is basically a chemical which is doing the vaso dilation of our body like the the blood vessel will get wider okay so when the vaso dilation will occur so the secretion of moving will be increased because of the wider size of the blood vessels okay or the mast cell will release a interleukin 4 interleukin 4 is basically in when the interleukin 4 is released but in the abnormal condition which means increase very more so it will trigger what it will trigger the ige okay and it will cause a allergy reaction so to stop the ige okay um to stop the ige so th that is basically doing what for example um you can say that as you guys all know that interleukin 2 is released more so histamine will do what histamine do will um will uh you can say that increase the capillary size okay so we are using the drugs to stop this ige because ig is doing what from just because of the ig the histamine is releasing more so inter just because of the interleukin 2 interleukin 4 sorry it will release more so it will trigger the ige which is antibody okay so it will release when the uh, cause of mutation is there abnormality is there so it will cause an allergy reaction it was called a uh, cause a uh, allergy reaction so to stop the ige or which will of course uh, to stop the histamine you can say that because just because of the ige the histamine is released um so just to stop the histamine uh, we are using the anti drugs anti histamine drugs anti histamine drugs okay which will stop the effect of the histamine like uh, the relieving symptoms of allergies like there can be the vaccination and these all okay so just because of the histamine the many uh, you can say that the symptoms are occur like swelling mucus secretion inflammation and the allergic responses are generated so the this was about the allergy okay so so in, after that we are discuss, after that we were discussing about the monoclonic antibodies which is also a you can say that the technique so that we will be discussing in the next video